Heaven and earth resound the hymn, Salve, Salve, Salve Regina. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Brothers and sisters, the grace and peace of God our Father, the love of Jesus Christ from the cross and his resurrection, and the power and the hope and compassion of the Holy Spirit be with each one of you. Good afternoon, everybody. We begin this celebration here on this holy place. My name is Father Carl Chudy from the United States, and we have uh, fathers from uh, Zambia, Uganda, and from the United States as well. We gather here together a multicultural, multilingual family of God around the power and wonder of our Blessed Mother, Our Lady of Fatima. We ask God to open our hearts at this moment, to strengthen us, encourage us, hold us accountable to what we have promised God each and every day. And that wherefore we ask God for his mercy and his love. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Christ eleison, Christ eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us all of our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. And let us pray. O oh God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and in an everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. You will not be expecting us to write anything to you, brothers and sisters, about times and seasons, since you know very well that the day of the Lord is going to come like a thief in the night. It is when people are saying, how quiet and peaceful it is, that the worst suddenly happens, as suddenly as labor pains come on a pregnant woman, and there will be no way out for anybody to evade it. But it is not as if you live in the dark, my brothers, for that day to overtake you like a thief. No, you are all sons of light and sons of day. We do not belong to the night or to the darkness, so we should not go on sleeping as everyone else does. But stay wide awake and sober. God never meant us to experience the retribution, but to win salvation through Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us so that alive or dead, we should still live united to him. So give encouragement to each other and keep strengthening one another as you do already. This is the word of the Lord.
I am sure I shall see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. I am sure I shall see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. The Lord is my light and my help, whom shall I fear? The Lord is a stronghold of my life, before whom shall I shrink? I am sure I shall see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. There is one thing I ask of the Lord, for this I long, to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to savor the sweetness of the Lord, to behold all this temple. I am sure I shall see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. I am sure I shall see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. Hope in him, hold firm and take heart, hope in the Lord. I am sure I shall see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Word of God is something alive and active. It can just secret emotions and thoughts. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. May these words be in our mind, on our lips, and in our hearts. Jesus went down to Capernaum, a town of Galilee, and taught them on the Sabbath. And his teaching made a deep impression on them because he spoke with authority. In the synagogue, there was a man who was possessed by the spirit of an unclean devil and had shouted at the top of his voice, Ha! What do you want with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. But Jesus said sharply, Be quiet! Come out of him! And the devil, throwing the man down in front of everyone, went out of him without hurting him at all. Astonishment seized them as they were all say, saying to one another, What teaching? He gives orders to unclean spirits with authority and power, and they come out. And reports of him went all through the surrounding countryside. The Gospel of the Lord. So this is my first time in Fatima. And I have to tell you, it is one of the most extraordinary experiences of my life. And I've had a lot of extraordinary experiences. And in all of these things, whenever I'm, when I'm here in this place, and our group this morning went to the home of uh, Jacinta and Francisco and Lucia, and to be in the very place where heaven and earth touched this sacred holy place where somehow all the pain and the woundedness of everything that was going on, certainly in the time of these three small children, but the pain and the woundedness and the divisions that we experience in our lives and our world today. And I think the message of Our Lady is extraordinary not only for 1917, but for 2023. We need it. We need, we need voices of peace. We need prayers of peace. We need a place where we understand that we're all one under our Lord and God, under our Savior, Jesus Christ. We need it more, desperately, as they need it in their day, we need it in our day, and I have a feeling we need it in every age. So here we are, given that charge today, and I can't help but think that coming from this place at Fatima is a way of 
calling me to do exactly that from here on end. And so for me, the, the, despite everything that was going on, there are messages of peace and of healing. And these messages, which are messages for every age, is something that I think we need to think about the ways that just as Mary spoke these beautiful words to these children, that Mary and, and in particular Christ himself speaks these words every single day, at every moment of every day to us. The words of Mary are the words of God. It's God who seeks us with all his heart, mind, and soul as he asks us to seek him with all our heart, mind, and soul. It is God who speaks to us relentlessly in every moment, in every day. And all we need to do is be awake to listen as these three small children who, by the way, because of their age and because of their simplicity, were the perfect candidates to really listen profoundly and deeply to those words of peace and hope and to spread them. All of this encased on our daily need for prayer. I think one way of imagining this for me is I think God dreams. And I don't mean a literally in a sleep. I mean the dreams of hope the dreams of peace, the dreams of prayer and our interconnectedness to God and to each other, that those dreams are exactly the dreams that come out of the messages of the apparitions of our Blessed Mother here at Fatima. They are God's dreams, and God's dreams, because who we are called by Christ, God's dreams runs through our veins. It is more a part of us than we are a part of ourselves. That these dreams of God of hope and peace are the very dreams that we enflesh and embrace when we embrace each other. It is God who's moving us, propelling us to do so. And as we impel us to do so, to not only to be persons of peace, but to practice peace and to share our peace with each other. The greatest dream of God, of course, is Jesus Christ, who is the heart and soul of our humanity and of the cosmos all around us. Because it was Jesus who was before all things that existed, and in everything, all things exist. He was born before all creation. And Mary calls our attention to her son. The messages of Mary are her son. And not just words, but the person and the power of her son. So I would like to pray for all of us during this time. I don't know about you, but I feel so exceptionally blessed to be here. And I pray that I may truly be a vessel of the dreams of God in my life as I move from Fatima for the rest of my life. Please stand as we offer our prayer and petition to the Lord. Uh, first of all, I, I would, I'm very cognizant, I'm very aware that people are asking us for our prayers. Are people asking prayers from you as well? Yeah, me too. Lots of people. In fact, we are just walking into the Mass and, so, and a woman came up to me with a piece of paper. I won't read it here, but I will definitely pray with it. And so I would like to pray for all of us who are carrying not only our own prayers, 
but the prayers of each other, which is what it means to be church. So for all of these needs, all of these persons, we pray to the Lord. I would like to pray also for our bishop here, Jose, and for the per church here uh, in Portugal who do such a marvelous job of welcoming us here, of, of providing a home for us as Catholics in this extraordinary place. And I ask to, that God bless all of them. And for this, we pray to the Lord. I'd like also to pray for each one of you. You don't, I don't know every, all you, but I want to pray for you, if that's okay, and to pray for whatever is in your heart, whether they're burdens of joy or burdens of distress and grief, whatever you're holding, that God will embrace you with his dreams of compassion and peace. And for this, I pray to the Lord like to pray also for our youth. I've seen many youth here, which is wonderful. And of course, last month was World Youth Day here in Lisbon. And uh, what an extraordinary time for our youth. And the message of Fatima that they are charged to carry themselves into the future in every place in the world. And for this, for this we pray to the Lord. I'd also like to pray for, the, uh, pray for the prayers of this particular Mass, the intentions of this Mass. And for this we pray. Lord, hear our Almighty and wondrous God, we ask you to hear our prayers through Jesus Christ. We place them into the heart of our Blessed Mother. We rely on her intercession as we say, Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Please be seated. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Gentle woman, quiet light, morning star, so strong and bright. Gentle mother, peaceful dove, teach us wisdom, teach us love. You were chosen you by the Father. Father. You were chosen for the Son. You were chosen from all women and for woman shining one. Gentle woman, quiet light, morning star, so strong and bright. Gentle mother, peaceful dove, teach us wisdom, teach us love. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name. O oh God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty. And by partaking of this sacred mystery, we may faithfully unite, be united in mind and in heart 
And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right. It is truly right and just our duty and salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Holy Father. Through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom everything was made, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of Mary. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest our resurrection. And so with angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaoth, plenis on celi et terra, gloria tua, osana in excelsis. Benedictus qui venit in nomine Domini, osana in excelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks and he gave it to his disciples and said, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. When we eat this bread and we drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking in the body and the blood of Christ, we may be by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring out the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, all who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin, Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 
Let us pray the words Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from distress as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the King and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Jesus, you said to your disciples, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Well, don't look on our sins, but look on our faith and grant us the peace and the unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of Jesus Christ be with each one of you. And let's offer to each other a sign of that peace. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Brothers and sisters, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy we call to the supper of the Lamb. that thou shouldst come to me. But speak the word of comfort, my spirit hill shall be. And humbly I'll receive thee, the bridegroom of my soul. No more my sin to grieve thee, or fly thy sweet control. Eternal Holy Spirit, 
onward fee though I be. Prepare me to receive him and trust the word to me. Increase my faith, dear Jesus, in thy real presence here, and make me feel most deeply that thou to me art near. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Jesus, my Lord, my God, my all, how can I love thee as I ought? And how revered this wondrous gift, so far surpassing hope or thought. Sweet sacrament, we adore, O oh, make us love be more and more, O oh, make us love be more and more. As I but merry sinless heart with which to love thee, dear. Rest King, oh, with what burst of fervent praise, thy goodness, Jesus, would I sing. Sweet sacrament, we adore, oh, make us love thee more and more, oh, make us love the more and more. Getting too old. Let us pray in humble thanks for the gift of Jesus in his body and blood. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life, through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, 
may so benefit from your beloved son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of us who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. And also, I'd, we'd certainly like to bless, if you could, together with my brother priest and deacon here, if we could bless your objects, anything you would like us to bless while we're here. Uh, and we just raise them up. So I can see them. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior and our King, we ask you, Lord, to bless these humble objects that they may be reminders not only of the dreams of God that lie within us active, but the dreams of God that are dormant and yet to come alive. And we bless all of them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and to serve Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God. Have a wonderful afternoon, everyone. The 13th of May in the Covadiria appeared though so brilliant the Virgin Maria. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The Virgin Maria, encircled with light, our oh dearest Mother and Heaven's delight. Ave, 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 